Today I messed up by banging my first cousin. So, didn't happen today, but last weekend. Finally getting around to really processing it all, and I guess trying to deal with it. Went out for drinks with my girlfriend, and met up with my younger cousin at the bar. We'd all hung out once before, and had a great time. My cousin invited a couple of her friends to the bar too. We did some bar hopping. I got drunk pretty unintentionally. The last bar was, I swear, not putting any mixers in my cocktails. They were straight alcohol. So anyway we are about to leave, and my cousin's friends are trying to get her home, because she's drunk too. Well, my gf was rdd, so we offered to let her stay in our spare room. Everyone was cool with that, because who's safer than family, right? Wrong. We get home, and, I had to piece together some of this later, because I blacked out for most of it. Apparently initially everything was cool. My cousin went to the spare room and my gf got her situated. The problem started a little later when I, in my infinite wisdom, decided to walk straight out of my bedroom with my girlfriend in it, and into my cousin's room. I don't particularly remember much except for two details which I guess, are not important to the story. Well. Okay so one might be. I remember her giving me a very enthusiastic BJ. Which, as you can imagine, makes a lot of noise. Apparently after a while my gf came out of the room wondering where I was, because I just disappeared. She didn't barge into the room or anything, but she heard the noises which is pretty obvious. So at HTE point, she left. Like, me. She left me. And I don't blame her. Anyway that means I wake up the next morning, having blacked out. Oblivious that my gf was gone already, but I'm fucking naked next to my naked cousin. There's all over the bed, where her face was, she didn't even sleep with a pillow. There's obviously no hiding this, but I'm still half drunk, and I went to try to go sneak back into my room, which I found empty. So yeah. I haven't heard from my gf all week, and I'm sure we're done, and I don't blame her. All I can hope for now is, that this shit doesn't get out to my family, because I would probably implode. No, my cousin and I are not going to start hooking up regularly. It's actually super awkward, and she has hardly said a word to me either. Again, I don't blame her. TLDR. Drunkenly slept with my cousin. Ruined my relationship. Family might hear about it. I'm an idiot. Today I ducked up by barging into the bathroom to find my cousin fully nude while holding my boner. This happened yesterday, and also English is not my first language so apologize if there are any grammatical error. Info. I, 21 male, and my cousin, 24 female. I know this is the most cliche story, but whatever I just wanna share. I was staying with my aunt for a week as a mini break, because my class has already ended, and I just need to finish a final project for my grade. Me being horny af, because of exams and such these past month haven't had the time to properly relax, and relieve myself which leads to rock hard morning wood every morning. That day I woke up but haven't fully regained my consciousness, so I was still half asleep. I had a huge urge to pee, and I said to myself better take care of this, or I'm gonna have self-induced golden shower. I got out of bed, and hurried to the bathroom. When I wss really near the bathroom I had this bright idea, to pull my pants waistband down, and let it spring into action, for efficiency sake, so I could go back to sleep, as soon as possible. I barged right in and there she was. My cousin. Fully naked both hands on her hair and me boner in hand. She was surprised as she has that deer in headlight looks on her, and so did I. Now this is where I ducked up. We both froze. And we just looked at each other, scanning each other. As I was still half asleep I thought to myself she is hot. Until I snapped back to reality, and realized it is her that all this time I was looking at. I pulled my pants up and immediately closed the door all in one smooth move as I said sorry multiple times. I ran back to my room in panic as I try to compose myself. When I'm back to my senses I forgot that I had to pee, so I used the other bathroom. The bathroom that this incident happened was closer so I used that one and went back to my room. I'm ducked and I'm just glad that we both just froze and she didn't scream or something as it might have caused a scene. A bit of background my family is conservative, and this is especially true for my aunt families and my cousin in particular. And I never thought of her rather than a cousin. She is just a very kind, wholesome and fun person, so we hang out a lot. 
and now I don't think I could look her in the eye. I feel so guilty. This kind of thing has never happened to me before. I mean I have barged into my mom and my distant cousin in the past, but it was nothing in my opinion as I always immediately apologize and close the door. The thing is I could remember that incident with her crystal clear. Like every detail. God I'm so ducked. I haven't met her since, but my aunt has planned dinner for all of us tomorrow so it's only a matter of time. Edit 1. Both bathrooms have locks on them, and I have checked the one where it happened, that it was functioning properly. Edit 2. Words and formatting. TLDR hurried to the bathroom half asleep boner in hand, to find my cousin fully nude and we scanned each other like Xerox as her nude is imprinted in my consciousness. Mini update. So this morning she went to the room I'm using to let me know that breakfast is ready which to my head feels unusual. I went to the kitchen area get my food and sat with her in living room watching TV. As I ate I noticed something is different with her. She wasn't upset or anything but her vibe has changed. I don't know how to describe it to be honest. We chatted a bit and I tried to come up with as many random topic as possible because I didn't want her to discuss what happened as my aunt is still in the kitchen area which is right next to the living room so she could hear everything. Finished my meal as soon as possible and excused myself back to my room. Throughout the day up to this point as I'm writing this, she seems to kinda noticed me whenever I'm around. I don't know whether it was real or it was just in my mind. I haven't had any proper talk about it with her. Yes, we usually lock the doors. Yes, I rarely knock. Objectively speaking yes she is insanely hot, like she has the ratio to summarize. I don't think I'm gonna go forward with this, and I'm definitely don't wanna get kicked out just because of this. I plan to talk to her tonight after dinner. Update. Dinner went well I think. My aunt is also normal, so I assume she hasn't talked to her about the incident. We generally just talked about the protest, covered and stuff so there aren't anything worth of mention. I did notice throughout dinner the way she looked at me was attentive. Like she was looking at me more than usual. I can't confirm really as I was more focused on the foods because it was so good. Anyway dinner was done and I planned on going to her room afterwards when she is by herself. I must say I was really nervous at this point. I went there and her door was open and I could see that she was drawing something. Her hobby is drawing, so it is normal. I asked her that I wanted to talk about something. She said sure while gestured to sit right next to her. For additional context in her room there is also a couch, a medium sized one for like two people. I sat there and she was still fixated on her thing. I then apologized for what happened while stammering a bit because I was still nervous. When I was done, she stopped drawing, and I looked at her face, and she was blushing, I guess. I don't know really, but I think there was a bit redness on her face. She just said oh, okay. Dead silence. I guess I must have zoned out because I expected more response from her, and I was like that's it? Really? When I snapped back I asked her what did she draw this time to shift the topic, because the situation was really awkward. It was about herself, and proceed to make jokes, sfw, about it to break the ice. We both laughed for quite some time as I try my damnedest to lighten up the mood. After the mood is back to normal, and we were done laughing I said to her, that I have to do something. Now this the part that gets me. She then leans in, and gave me a hug which really surprised me as she has never done it to me before. So I hugged back as I thought it would be rude to leave her hanging. It wasn't a tight hug I think just a normal hug. When we're done she said I knew you'd feel the same with a big smile on her face. I have no idea what she was referring to as my mind was still surprised. So I blurted out of course I would in which I then immediately excused myself and we said goodnight to each other. To this point of writing I still can't figure out what we were talking about because there was so much thought in my head that I wasn't really focused on the conversation itself. To be honest I don't think I wanna know what she was talking about. I just hope that was just some random shit, and it was enough of an explanation and everything is clear, so I can get this over with. Today I messed up by accidentally having sex with my cousin at a family wedding. So I originally posted this to r slash confession a couple nights ago, and thought here might also appreciate the story. Obligatory, this fuck up did not happen today, but nearer to two years ago. As a disclaimer, 
this is my first reddit post, and on mobile so apologize for formatting yada yada yada. So this happened about 18 months ago, or somewhere in the vicinity of 18 to 20 months. I still get flack from this from both family and friends. So, the setting, my uncle's wedding. It's around autumn and my uncle by my mother's side, from an exceptionally large family, this is relevant, is getting married for the second time. Now my family is very large. My mother has three brothers and five sisters, all with children of their own, and some even with children of their own now. The wedding isn't what I would describe as large, pretty much encompassing just family and close friends. All in all, there can't have been more than 50 or 60 people there, and around 60%, at a rough estimate, or so are related by blood to me. They make up the majority is what I'm trying to say, and many are spread over whom I have only briefly met, or in some cases, never met. Well, you can see where this is going. For reference, I would be around mid-17 in this story, with the age of consent in my country, UK, being 16. The girl, who we shall call Isla, was 22 or 23. Well, at the reception, I'm having a good time with my sister, parents, and cousins. Dancing, heavily indulging and drinking etc. Just generally enjoying myself as it is rare for large family gatherings for us for obvious reasons. A girl I don't recognize begins to dance with me on the very crowded dance floor. She's older than me clearly, but I thought maybe 19 or 20. Anyway, we start dancing, touching etc. She twerks on me a little, I grind a bit, and I presume nobody noticed due to accumulated intoxication and crowdedness around where we were. One thing's leads to another, we start kissing, and she asks me if I want to go back quote upstairs, which I correctly take to mean her room in the hotel. It was a hotel wedding. I, of course, being a hormonal teenage boy, still am, jump at the opportunity and say yes. I should say this wasn't my first time or anything, and by this point I carried condoms around in my wallet when I went out and knew I would be drinking. So we proceed to discreetly, or so I think, take our leave. Both drunk, obviously, but not to the point of not being in control of our actions, or stumbling around slash blackout etc. I get to her room, a bit of excited talk, and clothes come off. All is going well. Now, I should say that all this time I'm assuming this girl is a relative, or perhaps friend, of the bride. Oh boy. I was in for a shock. Because, as it turns out, she thought the same of me. As we were back quote cleaning up. So to speak, we begin a little small talk when, before had mostly just been purely sexual. She eventually asks how I know the bride, let us call her Emma. I stop. Thunderstruck. The realization slowly creeping up on me and oh, the horror. I laugh it off, hoping, in vain, she is joking, and state I'm the son of, insert mother's name. The shock is palpable on who I then realized as my cousin's face as she was putting her bra back on. She sort of freaks out, and says she's the estranged daughter of one of my uncles who's had a troubled life, whom she had very recently reconnected with. I did not know this. We essentially collectively let out her. From there we got dressed quickly, and decided to never reveal this major cock up to a soul and hope to god we had not been noticed, alas. We decided it would be best, if she were to leave first, and that I would follow around 5 to 10 minutes later. Well I do. She leaves first, and I just kind of stand around in the hallway on my phone freaking out for a short, while until I decide enough time has passed to erode suspicion. Well. First thing I see, when I get down is the look of pure disappointment on my mother's face, the stupid ducking grin on my father's and half my cousin's faces, and my sister looking in disgust, as though she was watching a particularly repulsive sea slug. One of my cousins whom I'm close to pats me on the back, shaking his head, and laughing his absolute head off. I know I'm defeated then and quietly take a seat expecting the utter barlicking I will later receive from my family. My elderly 90 year old grandmother was there for god's sake. And word was not quiet. I didn't see Isla or her father again that reception, and later found out she told him, and he took her home, not to the hotel she had booked, by way of taxi. So yeah. I accidentally took part in, protected, thank god, incest. It is brought up at every, and I mean every, family gathering. A couple of my cousins have taken to playing back quote sweet home Alabama and asking when the next date is whenever I enter the room. 
after, soberly, explaining to my parents it was an accident, and I fully believed she was not a relative, like they should have questioned it, they were okayish with it, but still disappointed and annoyed a little. My father asked me how I'd failed to notice Isla, apparently, sat literally the row behind us, and I had no answer. Gotta work on my observation skills I guess. Not only do my family still tease me, but my friends found out from my sister within days and I've been relentlessly teased by them at most social gatherings since. You can imagine how many cousin slash incest slash Alabama jokes daily. I'm ashamed to this day. Even more so, because she is an objectively attractive woman. As one might imagine, the limited interactions we've had since have been extremely strained and awkward, not helped by my jerk cousins. There is another big family wedding coming up this summer, and since the announcement back quote the incident as it's come to be known as has been all that's been discussed within my hearing. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed that roller coaster. If you have any questions feel free, and once again, do forgive the surely egregious formatting as I'm just popping my reddit virginity with this story, which I've been encouraged to, anonymously, post online by friends so as to make you all laugh as much as them. TLDR. I had sex with my uncle's estranged daughter at a family wedding my first time meeting her. Everybody in the large family knew then and now and will never let me live this down. Edit, thank you all very much for the outpouring of engagement with this post. I will try get through the comments over the duration of the day. Also thank you for my first silver and gold kind stranger. Glad I could give you a chuckle.